So another quick tip video, this time about randomizing parameters with a strip module from Sturmelder. So here I have a sequence going, I have the ADDR sequencer, eventually it will sequence the sine VCO. Right now if I right click the ADDR sequencer and I want to randomize things, right, either with Control R or with clicking randomize, Right, it will randomize the ADDR sequencer, but as you can see, it will randomize not only the steps, but also the number of steps, the direction, and the select here, right, if I do this again. Right, now this can yield interesting results, but let's say that I want to randomize just a few of the steps. Right, so for this I can use the strip module, if I take this down for a second, Right, uh, I can use the strip module, so first of all it has to be close to the row you want to randomize, not only a module, but if I put this now close to the ADDR, it will control the whole row, so you have to keep this in mind. And now in the right-click menu, first of all you have to um, activate the randomize parameters only, otherwise it will just randomize everything. Right, so I'm going to activate this, let me show you what happens when you don't do this. Right, here I have the strip module without the randomized parameters only, and I click randomize, you can see it just randomizes everything. If I have this on, right, it will not randomize anything until I select it. Right, so now I have this on, right, and it's close to the ADDR, and now here down you can see there is the include exclude button. If I right click it, you can choose either to include or to exclude. I have it include, which means that now I can learn parameters I want to uh, randomize. So if I click it once, you see it turns red, and now I can learn a parameter. In this case, let's say I want it to be step four, and then I click it again, and let's, let's say step seven. Right, and now every time I click the randomize button, you can see only four and seven are being randomized. Right, and like this I can randomize the sequence. So if, for example, I use a divided clock. Right, I get a different sequence according to the clock. Right, and like this I can choose also other parameters. So for example, if I want to include also the panning. Right, so it will again follow the whole row of modules that are next to one another. Right, let me show you another example I have here. This can work great with modules that uh, also have limited uh, number of um, CV inputs. For example, Tremor from Vault. It has two CV inputs that you can use, which is great, but I want to randomize. As you can see, it's randomizing all sorts of different things. <laughs> Right, according to the gate sequencer, you don't have to use a clock. This can come also from a sequencer to trigger the randomize function. So it's triggering both the random and the gate input of Tremor. It's randomizing all sorts of parameters, also the filter, right, also the delay. And we get this glitchy voice. I have here also some drums, just to put this in context. Right, so you can use this to quickly and easily randomize parameters. Here I have another sequence with the eight step sequencer from count modular. And again, this can work with modules that don't have CV inputs for different parameters. For example, here the wave shape of the pony VCO. Right, and you can see that it's randomizing all sorts of different things here. And also the sequence uh, itself. Right, so you can use the strip modules, uh, module also to select different parameters you want to quickly randomize just with the trigger and add variation and movement to your patches.